practice today that made you want to come tell us that World Warriors is going to be starting on Sunday? Yeah, we saw timing. Uh, we saw uh, good communication uh, with his uh, off other 10 offensive players. Uh, we saw execution. Uh, we saw command in the huddle. Um, and, you know, those things with also he was just really good with his receivers throwing the ball. Uh, those things factored into saying, hey, man, this guy's ready. It's hey. practice, but he's, he's ready. Hey, Perry, just, um, just from Eric last week, Vernon, Reggie, is there like a little bug going around? It's just that time of year. Yeah, yeah. I think Reggie had uh, more, Reggie was more of uh, food and Vernon is that time of year. With uh, that, uh, with Vernon could be back tomorrow or hot tub. Um, yeah, um, I know we just sent him home to quarantine him, you know, and we'll find out tomorrow. With Curtis, his knee, was that something that popped up in practice? Was it? Yeah, it's more of like a rest thing, okay. Any concern about Shaq's ankle? Is that just a day to day thing or? Uh, he's, he's struggling with the ankle right now. Uh, I'm going to say he's doubtful uh, right now, so uh, I'll, I'll know more tomorrow, but I'm saying he's doubtful. Another full day for Greg Olson. Is he cleared? He did clear protocol. Um, you know, another full day, so it looks good for him. I'm giving the thumbs up, but obviously, you know, hey, uh, we got to get through tomorrow's practice. Perry, you and uh, Will have one thing in common and that you're both really from this area and now you're the head coach and he'll be the, your starter. Uh, I wonder how, I know you, how you've tried to handle that. Um, do you think the different pressure will be on a guy who used to sit in that stadium and now quarterbacks that team? Yeah, yeah I definitely think it's a, a different pressure. Um, I think you, it's just human nature, you're going to feel it as a person. Um, you know, you represent not only the Panther organization, but you represent your, your city, uh, the, the surrounding community, um, the Carolinas. Uh, so that, that's definitely a different pressure. Um, and so um, for him, you know, uh, he's a talented young man. We want him to have success in what he does. That's why we wanted to, for him to practice and get all the reps that he need to get with the, the starters this week. Um, and really take some of the pressure off his shoulders and just letting him play football and, 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 be, and be Will. Barry, did, uh, you said Shaq got injured in the game. I don't remember him coming out. What, what do you, do you, was it on a particular play? Or? Uh, he came out the last two plays of the game, and it, you, you won't see it, <laughs> okay? It's like it's one of those things that, you know, it's, I look for it hard on the tape, and you don't see it. How much of the uh, playbook will you have to scale down because he's been running the scout team all year? You know, Scott hasn't really scaled. The playbook's been available to him, you know. Uh, he's trying to do the things that Will does well. Uh, but uh, the good thing about Will is that he has listened in meetings. Uh, some of the scout team plays that are run, uh, they've done a good job, you know, through, throughout the course of the season. This is just like 16 Bono. This is just like that. So, the playbook has been is available for Scott, so we, we're going to run our offense. Yeah, Perry, how much of, of these few days has been about identifying, as you said, what Will does do well? Because obviously he and Kyle, they're both young quarterbacks, but they're different quarterbacks. Everybody's got different sort of strengths and as far as plays that maybe they operate a little bit better. Are you kind of trying to tailor this for Will's strengths? Yeah, I, I think Scott has tried to give him an offense or give, give him some plays that he could be successful with. Uh, with, while still playing within the framework of what we do offensively. Um, and then, yes, Will has some different strengths than Kyle. Um, and so Scott's tried to move to those strengths also with the play calling. I know what Scott was kind of saying about a few guys being from this area. What do you remember about Will when he was playing in this area? I know you were probably off coaching up somewhere else, but do you remember coming home and hearing about him, the legend of Will Greer at all, and that 800-yard T ten touchdown game he had in a playoff game. You remember that? Yeah, I, I didn't. The the high school I did not remember as much. Okay, I I really I, I caught fire that he was he was a high school prospect and he was hot, you know. And then because I was 
uh, in a different state, but then I really caught Will when he got to West Virginia, and I saw him, and I, w I was like, wow, that's a hometown boy, <laughs> you know? And so my chest pumped up. I was proud. I was bragging, uh, obviously, and that's why we want to put him in a position to have success. When you were in college, level, did you ever recruit him at all? Or? No, I was, I'd been in the pros. I was on the pros the whole time, yes. Perry, Will joke that um, about like half of his West Virginia tape is him throwing deep balls down the field. Uh, and he acknowledged that that's not always going to work in the NFL. Do you, you want to see him kind of take, obviously Christian underneath is such a big weapon for this offense. You kind of want to see him um, decision making kind of play into that a little bit with kind of what you're hoping to see from Will in his first start. Yeah, it's all about decision making in my, in my opinion. Um, you know, take what the defense gives you, you know. Uh, yes, he's got a cannon of an arm. I love his arm. He's got a cannon, okay? But sometimes the coverage doesn't allow you to throw that deep ball. So take what the defense gives you. Don't protect the football, okay? A punt's not a bad thing for the, for the offense, okay? Uh, let's run the ball. Uh, let's play action. Let's do the things that we do from a, uh, an offensive perspective and, and, and put, establish some drives and move the ball down the field. Hey, Perry, if, uh, if Shaq Thompson can't go this, this Sunday, will you expect Jermaine Carter to have a bigger role? Will you take a look at maybe like Andre or, or Jordan in, in that position as well? I would expect Jermaine to have a bigger role in that. Perry, what were your conversations like, or, or how did Will and Kyle each handle the conversation you had with them about what would happen this week? And kind of just zooming out, how, have, how has each guy from your perspective handled a season full of kind of unexpected game time starts and just kind of being thrown in there? Well, first, both both young men handled the conversations extremely professional. Um, you know, from from Kyle's standpoint, he's a, he's a young man that says, uh, you know, whatever you want me to do, coach. You know, and so you got to appreciate that. Um, you know, from Will's perspective, it was, uh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm getting my start, my chance. Um, but what do I say? What do I do to the, you know? Because I don't know if I'm gonna be the starter or not. But I'm I'm expected to be the starter, but hey, I'm going through this evaluation period. Hey, I just wanted him to go out and practice and not worry about being a starter. I just wanted him to go out and practice, be a player. And so I think he did that. He he practiced like he did not have any pre and he shouldn't have any pressure on him, and he doesn't. You know, he, he doesn't. He just needs to go out and play football and enjoy himself and have fun and protect the football and lead our football team, which he did today in practice in a commanding way. Uh, so I, I think they've both been professional in what they've done. Uh, game day will definitely be different because he'll have some, you know, some butterflies and all that type stuff. But uh, I've enjoyed the conversation with both throughout the week, and, and I've enjoyed the way they've handled it professionally throughout the week. Very, uh, I, and I apologize because I wasn't here yesterday. Maybe you addressed it. But, but why now? Why this particular game? I think you said something about we pointed toward this game for him as a possibility or something. Yeah, um, as I took over, um, there was, a, I, there was a, I put a plan in place of just saying if we're going to look at some of our young talent, where would we look at this young talent from a position standpoint? And so the plan that I put in place was this, this ball game for him. Whether he started or he didn't start, okay, he was going to play, okay, um, and this was the, the target game, you know, two games in the, into the four-game uh, stretch as, a, as, a, as the head coach. Um, and so we will look at some other players as we go along also, uh, but that was his target date. Barry, where does Brian Burns fit in in that continuum? Oh, Brian's, you know, Brian's been playing now. For the last, like last week, there was a, he should have gotten more reps than what he got last week, uh, but Brian has no, no holes barred on him. Why do you say he should have gotten more than he did last week? Yeah, it, we were, it was, we had some run, we had some run pass tendencies and we were trying to get him in on some special certain situations. We didn't do a good job of getting him, getting him in on those situations, but we'll rectify that situation. Perry, back you will, with, with the way that you mentioned he's got a can and you love his arm and a lot of his tape is thrown downfield and you say decision making, taking what the defense gives you, uh, how do you as a coach and impart to him, don't be afraid to let it loose. I mean, you, you want it, you, if the defense gives it to you, then go ahead and let it rip. Yeah, I, I think that's what Scott's done with him this week, you know. Uh, We've tried to make sure that he gets the proper looks in practice. That's why it was so important that he take all the reps 
so that when he sees that, uh, that, uh, that opportunity to let it rip, that he can let it rip. But it, that's, part of taking what, that's part of seeing the look and taking what the defense gives you. If the defense took it away from you and you still think you can rip it, but you got a guy underneath and you can check it down, check it down. You know, so it's just the growth process or the teaching process that he has to see because, you know, obviously uh, in the National Football League, these guys are fast, they're strong, they get to, they, they kind of fool you in the secondary, they make you think it's one thing and then they roll to a different coverage and just trying to make sure that he gets those right looks so that he doesn't throw into a bad coverage. Bill specifically, especially being a hometown boy, was that at all a consideration in his first start being on the road? How much of a factor was that? A little. I'll say that, just a little. Reason or benefit that you see in getting the start away from home? Um, I would say that it's, pro it's not as much pressure when you're coming into the hometown stadium um, and you've got, you know, the city of Charlotte behind you, as well as the Carolinas, you know, and you're in your first start, it's probably not as much pressure. Uh, you feel the pressure, uh, obviously, if you're, the, if you're starting your first game at home. So uh, that, that's, that's a factor, no doubt. Perry, you talked about kind of implementing a plan to get younger guys more playing time over the final four games as you're the interim coach. What do you kind of view as your responsibility as, a, as an interim coach with a franchise that will be transitioning into a new phase next year? Yeah, well, just working with management and working with uh, the scouting department and, and trying to make sure that, number one, we, we, we put plans together to win football games. Number two, that we get evaluations of the players that we, we designate that we want to get evaluations on. Uh, and that can be, again, if they're a starter or if, they're just, if they just go in and play five plays, if they go in and just play ten plays. We want to get an evaluation of what some of the younger players uh, can do within the program so that moving forward, the franchise can make decisions from there. Harry, you mentioned that hometown pressure. Have you felt any pressure since you've taken over? Um, I think to answer that question honestly, I've been too busy to feel pressure, <laughs> you know. Uh, the only pressure that I feel is the pressure of not disappointing these players in trying to give them the opportunity to have success. That's the pressure that I feel. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.